Welcome to Streamline News for Monday, April 25th, 2011, brought to you by SwimOutlet.com, the web's most popular swim shop. The Russian Nationals concluded on Saturday with more fast swims on the women's side and a foursome set to challenge for gold in the men's 400 free relay at the World Championships. Anastasia Zueva improved on her second ranked world time in the 100 back with a 59.35. She's still a couple of tenths behind Japan's Aya Terakawa in the world rankings. Yulia Efimova, mostly known as a sprint breaststroker, became the third fastest 200 breaststroker in the world this year with a 224.17. Nikita Lobensev won the men's 100 freestyle with a 48.62 to move into a tie for sixth in the world rankings. Andre Gretchen and Danila Izatov, who were both on the 400 free relay that won silver at the 2009 Worlds, placed second and third. Finishing fourth was Vladimir Morozov, who trains in Los Angeles at the University of Southern California and will represent Russia in his first international competition. We've got recaps from all four days of swimming in Russia on our world channel at SwimmingWorld.com. Brazil held its world championship trials last week, but it was one of three national competitions that could be used to qualify for a trip to Shanghai. The highlight of the meet's final two days was Henrique Rodriguez's 200 IM, a 159.02 that is the fourth fastest in the world behind two Brits and Michael Phelps. Nicholas Nilo and Tiago Pereira, who train in the United States, were two notable Brazilians who did not compete last week. Their last chance to be added to the world championship list is next week at the Maria Link Trophy Meet. The FINA Diving World Series concluded last weekend in Mexico with hometown divers winning two of the eight gold medals. In the men's three-meter synchro springboard event, Yael Castillo and Daniel Islas won by less than six points over the American duo of Troy DeMay and Christian Ibsen. On the 10-meter synchro platform, Ivan Garcia and German Sanchez beat Americans David Budai and Thomas Fincham by nine points. The Chinese won the other six events with the most dominating performance coming from Zi He in the women's three-meter individual event. She beat Canadian Jennifer Abel by 31 points with American Cassidy Cook taking the bronze medal. The next big international diving meet will be the AT&T USA Diving Grand Prix in Fort Lauderdale. The complex there is, a world, is world renowned for hosting international swimming competitions where world records have been broken. But the city of Fort Lauderdale has long been in a gridlock over the complex's overhaul, which has been in discussion for more than a year. The $75 million proposal would renovate the two 50-meter pools, improve the diving well, and add more spectator seating. But the city council is worried about the traffic issues during the renovation and whether an overhaul will bring back tourism and competitions. The YMCA Nationals had been held at the Hall of Fame pool for many years, but meet organizers are now considering a new city. Fort Lauderdale is a big part of the news today. USA Swimming announced that the site of the Open Water Nationals has been moved from Fort Myers further south to Fort Lauderdale. The change was made in response to the USA Swimming Report recommending maximum water temperature limits of 87.8 .8 degrees Fahrenheit. The event will be held June 10th through the 12th. And finally today, the swimming community is mourning the loss of Tennessee assistant coach Joe Hendy, who lost his battle with brain cancer on Sunday. Hendy had been a coach at the University of Tennessee for more than 30 years and helped guide the men's team to an NCAA team title in 1978 as well as gold medals at the Olympics for Mel Stewart, Jeremy Lin, and Tripp Schwenk. Hindi was 50 years old. That's going to do it for us today on Streamline News. Thanks for watching.